call we have up next. This is Anthony, and he wants to talk to us about UFOs existing based on ancient Ooh. texts. Have you ever had a UFO call before? I have not had a UFO call. I'm excited. Hello, Anthony. Can you hear us? Anthony, what is a UFO? Uh, that's a good question. I'd like to know. <laughs> um, I, I was talking to the call screener, and uh, I was kind of distracted with my daughter, but he asked me if I had any personal experience. I said no. Uh, I, I kind of did. I don't know. I don't want to say I, I did, um, but it kind of reminded me of the uh, videos I've seen on like YouTube and stuff, like uh, uh, flashing lights and stuff. But um, I was driving home from work one night, and um, I was at a stoplight, and I saw this like a, a bigger light in the sky than I, you know. I thought it was like a plane or something like that. It wasn't flashing. You know, it was kind of just um, like a blob, kind of just glowing and stuff at one spot. And um, it was just kind of right by the red light, just in my perspective. Um, so I, you know, um, as I kept going, you know, I could see it in the sky. And then I was, um, when I was, sorry, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> it's okay. Um, when I was on uh, the bypass, um, I could still see it. And then all of a sudden, it, I, it just like zoomed, you know, just like a flash of light, just like. You know, and it kind of just freaked me out. And I was by myself, and I just, you know, I just started kind of going crazy. You know, just in the car, like, what was that? Oh my god! Um, I don't know what it was. I'm not. I, I don't want to say it was like a UFO or an alien or anything. I don't know what it was. But um, like uh, I don't know. Uh, just from like um, you know, like Sumerian, like the Anunnaki and stuff like that. Uh, one of the oldest civilizations, and um. I kind of compare it to a, like religion, you know, it's just people telling stories, but, um, uh, there's video evidence and I'm, you know, it, I can't really go out and investigate stuff personally. Um, so I just got to rely on like books and, you know, testimonials and video evidence, which I'm not sure can be doctored and stuff like that. So it's, it's kind of hard to believe what I'm seeing and when I'm reading and stuff and try to check sources as best as I can, but it's really hard. <laughs> Yeah, that's but, interesting. So you kind of had this personal experience, and you don't actually know if it's a UFO or not. But you definitely say it's weird. But you think it might be based on some ancient texts that you've been reading? Videos, possibly? Well, not, YouTube videos, well, I think? not just based on... Yeah. Yeah, not just, like, based on just the ancient texts. It just reminded me of, like, um, UFO videos I've seen, you know, when people recording just, like, strange lights, and then, like... And I, I don't know, I'm sure you've seen, like, some weird videos on there where they just, like, flash and then they just, like, zigzag and then they just fly off and just disappear and stuff like that just extremely fast. And that it was just extremely fast. It didn't zigzag or anything. It just, like, just sped off and it was just gone and stuff. And it's kind of freaked me out. And, but <clears throat> that's, that's pretty much the only personal experience I've had. Sure. My understanding of the word UFO is unidentified flying object. Right. And it seems like it meets, it meets the criteria with which you've explained. Some people tend to go a step further and say, oh, this is otherworldly. This is, this is from another galaxy. This has aliens inside of it. This, has, this is abducting people, for example. And they go away above and beyond just saying, I saw a, fl a red flashing light that zipped through the sky really fast. And you, you're even right. saying, I don't know what it is. Why are you even entertaining the idea? Are, are you? I'm kind of wondering how far you're going with this, to be honest. Are, are you saying this is an unidentified flying object, or are you are you adding some more to that? I mean, as as, as a rational person, I'm just going to, I want to just stop it. It's an unidentified flying object. But the unrational side of me and uh, wants to take it even further based on everything that I've read and watched and everything, you know. Sure. Um, uh, but, I mean, I don't know. It's just really weird. And but I, all these different like you know alien theories that we were created by an alien race and stuff like that is uh, it's really intriguing. And I know they're just you know theories and stuff. And they, I kind of compare it to religion, like I said, mm. and stuff. And I, I'm I'm an atheist, so I don't believe in uh, in, in a god or anything. Which is why I I, I guess I'm searching uh, for like another explanation. You know, and then like, aliens, <laughs> you know, uh, otherworldly stuff just seems sure. a little bit more plausible than, uh, than a, you know, just some guy in the sky who created everything and stuff like that. But, <clears throat> and then I, I try to look at it as another rationalist, like, well, does that sound believable too? And then I'm just kind of stuck in a circle 
it's like I want to believe more on the alien side, but the, I'm still stuck on the same. Like I have no evidence for it besides what I saw, you know, which is just my own personal experience. I can't prove anything or, you know, go any further than I just saw that. So you said something really interesting there. Uh, you said I want to believe that it's aliens or something to that to that effect. Did you just say that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I, I would try to focus, maybe spend a little time thinking about why you want to give an explanation to something that maybe we'll never have the explanation to. Why? Right, I, and I, I wouldn't fault yourself for that. These are, these are things that humans do all the time. We try to make up narratives and explanations for things. Like I hurt my back and I'm, I don't really know how that happened. I, I, I could probably let my mind run away with examples of, and things that and maybe I was abducted by an alien, and this is the result of an alien test. That, but I have to, you know, you want, I kind of try, try to temper my imagination. Imagination is great. We have these wonderful things that humans are creating, but then I, I think sometimes it could, it could work to our detriment. Yeah. So the way I think of it is yeah. explanations are cheap. You can come up with an explanation for anything. What we have to do is assess which explanation is more likely than the other based on what we already know about how the world works and stuff, right? Um, so it could be that this was an alien encounter of some kind, um, but what reasons do we have to believe that? Um, so we have to look at what other people attribute to even, I mean, do we even know aliens exist for the first part? I mean, that's a good question. I don't think that we definitively know that aliens exist, even if, you know, they could be hypothesized that they could be true. but. There's a lot of leaps that you can make there if you tie in these other beliefs. For example, I heard you mention that the aliens could have created human race, okay? So we went from you, have you having this personal experience and you don't know what it is, and you can go all the way to some sort of alien race creating human beings and all of humans is just a big experiment. You, you, know, you can easily jump the gun if you don't look at things on a case-by-case -case basis um, and see where all these right. beliefs kind of tie together. Um, so, I, and I also know, and I, I don't know a whole lot about UFO stuff. I've been to Roswell before and that's kind of cool, but I really don't know a lot of alien evidence besides personal experience, um, and lots and lots and lots of hoaxes, <laughs> especially mm -hmm. online. Um, so can, yeah, I, can I build off of something that Dan so said? Yeah. I want to just build off yeah. some, something that Dan said really quick. Um, I think you said something like, did you say experiences are cheap? Uh, ex like? Explanations for things. Explanations. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think maybe you use it uh, not in terms of a cost, but maybe in terms of just ubiquity. Like there's just m thousands yeah. and thousands of, of those. But um, they could actually be quite costly. You can really get wrapped up in these things. Right. Somebody could, could see a flashing red light and then watch a ton of videos and it's occupying your time. And then maybe you subscribe to a newsletter that costs you $50 a year. Oh, there's this convention going on. You can get really wrapped up in these things. Mm -hmm. And I think... I think doing what you're doing right now is like, I had this experience, I'm not sure what it was, and you're talking it through. That I think is very healthy, it's very beneficial, and, and I, I don't think that you're going this way per se, but try not to get too wrapped up or too in love with the thought that this was something supernatural, that this was an alien craft or something. And and but be open to the possibility. I guess it's it's entirely yes. possible. But don't yeah, I, just, just try not to let your imagination run away with you, where you're actually investing yourself and your time yes. in this belief. Not because it's not possible, right. but because it, it's not warranted for you to have those beliefs. Yeah. Right. So there is a exactly. difference because I mean I, I'm all for aliens like being a thing, but the evidence that we need to establish that aliens are a thing I, I haven't seen yet. Right. Um, as far as I know, it's just speculation amongst a lot of people. And for some people, an inevitability of uh, considering the probabilities of the universe and stuff. Um, but aliens visiting Earth and coming by you and building spaceships, that's a whole other thing with a whole bunch of other probabilities that you got to add on to it that we don't really have, you know, um, ground to believe in. Right. Mm -hmm. Look, can we move on to somebody else? The queue is huge. Yeah, for sure. Anthony, I hope yeah. that helped. Yeah, a little Anthony, bit. that was cool. Yeah, thanks, yeah. thanks very much. Yeah, that was cool. Thanks for taking my call. Yeah, thanks for sharing the story. Yeah.